This room is the McKinney and Hall Gallery and it is a collection of 120 lithograph prints of Native American chiefs, dignitaries, many of whom came to Washington, D.C. between the 1820s and 1830s, usually as part of uh, treaty negotiations for land rights. So Thomas McKinney admired Native Americans to the best that that time period would probably allow for. He, he saw them as dark-skinned white men and that they could be equal to white men. They just needed the education and um, the tools to become like white men, which was a little bit different um, from the general opinion that they were savages and needed to be exterminated. He did not see it that way and he wanted to preserve the culture that he was seeing as disappearing, partly out of his own hand. He, he instituted things like mission schools where they're taking children from their families and giving them white education, or trying to erase the same culture that he wants to preserve in these images. They would visit Thomas McKinney. He would have select members of those delegations sit for a portrait. The primary artist was Charles Bird King, and he would um, do an oil painting of them. Um, the clothes that they wore, you can see, are the clothes that they chose for this portrait. Uh, and they all willingly participated. Uh, the enthusiasm for it grew where, when delegations would come to Washington, D.C., this was something that they looked forward to doing and they would often be given their own smaller version of a portrait to take home with them. So these are not originals, they are digital copies, digital prints, um, but even as such, to our knowledge, we're the only museum that has all of them on display. Certainly there are museums that have them, uh, so, um, have originals, but do not have all of them or all of them on display.